Welcome to today's Our Daily Bread. I'm Sheridan Voisey, and I've titled our reading, Who You Are. In 2011, after a decade of childlessness, my wife and I chose to start afresh in a new country. Exciting as the move was, it required me leaving a broadcast career, which I missed. Feeling lost, I asked my friend Liam for advice. I don't know what my calling is anymore, I told Liam dejectedly. You're not broadcasting here? he asked. I said I wasn't. And how is your marriage? Surprised at his change of topic, I told Liam that Merrin and I were doing well. We'd faced heartbreak together, but emerged closer through the ordeal. Commitment is the core of the gospel, he said, smiling. Oh, how the world needs to see committed marriages like yours. You may not realise the impact you're having already, beyond what you do simply by being who you are. When a difficult work situation left Timothy dejected, the Apostle Paul didn't give him career goals. Instead, he encouraged Timothy to live a godly life, setting an example through his speech, conduct, love, faith and purity. He would best impact others by living faithfully. It's easy to value our lives based on our career success, when what matters most is our character. I had forgotten that. But a word of truth, a gracious act, even a committed marriage can bring great change. Because through them, something of God's own goodness touches the world. Today's scripture reading is from 1 Timothy chapter 4, verses 12 to 16. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. Until I come, devote yourself to the public reading of Scripture, to preaching and to teaching. Do not neglect your gift, which was given you through prophecy when the body of elders laid their hands on you. Be diligent in these matters. Give yourself wholly to them, so that everyone may see your progress. Watch your life and doctrine closely. Persevere in them, because if you do, you will save both yourself and your hearers. Let's pray together. O Lord, would you help us to remember that while the work we do today is important, it's not as important as the people we become. Would you make us more like you today? People of gracious speech, gracious conduct, people of love, faith, purity, examples that other people can follow. We ask this in the Spirit's power and in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for listening. I'm Sheridan Voisey, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.